Super Pook, the best woman commentator. I wanted to do a, a video or a rant because I was getting really, really, really fed up with, um, mainly with YouTube. The problem is all my anger has melted away um, because I don't tend to hold on to anger for long. I tend to get to the point where I go, oh, this is fuck it. I don't care anymore. To the devil's cock with it. It's inevitably, unfortunately, it's mainly about the whole girl gamer thing. I don't mind people making fun of those people because they're quite funny. And I've made fun of them myself and I, I found it quite funny to do. Um, things like, say, Chris Katera's um, video where he did a typical girl gamer vlog the other day and that was really funny because he even had a little puppy to stroke. What I don't like is that anger that's directed at these women as if they're deserving of, of hate because of this. These women aren't watching their own videos over and over again to to give themselves the views. They're not the ones give it they don't give themselves partnerships and directorships. They're making the videos because people watch the videos. They're getting the partnerships and the directorships because people watch the videos. And those people aren't women. Those people are young men who like looking at pretty women and who like games. So they've got the combination of pretty women and video games together. So I really don't understand why so many people get actively sort of hate-filled about this. Why they feel like these women, they shouldn't have these subs. They shouldn't have these views. You can't say that, that these women who use their looks to get subs and get views instead of their skill at a game uh, are any different from actresses who land roles in movies because they're pretty. Because people like looking at pretty people. They like beautiful people. There's nothing new about it. It's just because it's YouTube instead of Hollywood. This, the population would never reproduce if we weren't driven by sexual attraction and sex. Double standards. You're telling me you only ever go to the cinema to see what, the Shakespeare adaptation with quality acting in it, a bit of Patrick Stewart. You've never watched any kind of prawn. You don't like ladies boobies, you don't like looking at them. No, I'm not gonna watch your channel, it disgusts me. I just need to look at it to decide how much it disgusts me. And then I'm gonna click dislike a million times. Because you made me so angry. Why do I just... I don't understand why you get angry. Laugh at it. Find it funny, by all means. Realise that it's ridiculous that all these teenage boys are just watching these women to have a little bit of a fap and that the women are getting paid for it. She's a pretty lady. I'd like to put my sausage in her, in her tunnel of death. Oh, I mean tunnel of love. <laughs> tunnel of death. That went a bit wrong. That explains a lot about me. The other thing I hate at the moment is people who whinge, sorry, I should say YouTubers who whinge about how many subs other people have got or how many views other people have got and how they've got these subs and views. It doesn't fucking matter unless their channel is good and their content is good they will lose the subs and views just because they're doing whatever it is you think they're doing to get the subs and views that you personally disagree with because you are the king or queen of the world obviously and you rule all of YouTube doesn't mean a thing it doesn't affect your channel. It doesn't mean you're getting less subs. It doesn't mean you're getting less views. And really, who fucking cares if you are? It's YouTube. It's a hobby. You can complain about whatever you want on YouTube, can't you? You can say that people have got rubbish content because they're not getting Moabs. You can say they've got rubbish content because they're only getting Moabs. You can say they're not funny. You can say they're too funny. You can say they play the wrong games. You can say they're too rude, they're too polite, they're too naked, they're not naked enough, 
their head looks like a bear's head. They wear the wrong hats. They've never been to the moon. They play Xbox. They should play PS3. They don't play PC. They should play PC. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's not like there's a limited number of channels someone can subscribe to. They can subscribe to however many channels they want to. Um, it's... It's not like if they subscribe to these channels that you personally don't approve of, then they can't subscribe to you. They're not going to view your videos. If you want them to watch your channel, concentrate on making your own videos. Concentrate on making your own videos more interesting or different or your gameplay skills or play different games or get your boobs out or whatever you want to do. Just do what you want to do. Don't worry about what the next person is doing. Don't obsess. There are plenty of there are plenty of YouTube channels out there, aren't there? Let's forget about the ones you hate. Go and subscribe to Thirteenth Project, who is awesome. Makes me smile all the time. Um even if he is castigating me instead of giving me a shout out. He makes awesome, funny videos. He's opinionated. But he doesn't hate people. He... He's... Um, a pretty amazing look. Go and subscribe to Chill Tree Hugger or He Who Hugs Trees. He makes really cool different videos and he doesn't make them for other people he doesn't care if people like him or hate him he just makes the videos that he wants to make and so they are brilliant go and subscribe to jen jen c82 who's oh sorry i think she's jen driver 82 or something like that on youtube solid gameplays opinion wicked irish accent go and subscribe to the ridiculously creative people like tomahawk tricks who i think everyone knows about anyway i can't wait for black ops 2 to come out so that we can see hopefully some of his um awesome battle axe skills again because they're fantastic go and subscribe to Shaun of the dead if you want a real rant full of anger it's genuine it's awesome he's funny too because that's the important thing it's, I don't mind people ranting and being angry about stuff if it's important to them and if they've got a bit of a sense of humour about it. What I mind, what I find ridiculous more to the point, is people who get angry about things that really shouldn't bother them at all. They have no effect on their actual lives and they should just brush it off. And move on. They should check themselves before they wreck themselves. But please, for the love of God, stop hating everything, stop judging everything, and just get on with your own fucking life before I have to come round there and cover you in squirrel dust. Sorry, that was just to annoy the 13th. This I find immensely disturbing. I hope you do too.